Hello, hello, you beautiful people. It's back. It's another episode of the Talk E United career mode on FC24. We are halfway through our sixth season with the girls. Our first season in the Prem. How we're we doing? Well, the goals top 10. Well, I've got a big golden star right on my chest because so far we're in 10th place. Even though European football is unlikely, neither is relegation. But you know what? I'm happy. I've got a smile across my face. And I'll freaking love it. So, what have we got to expect? So, we've got a big Carabao Cup semi-final clash. I'm looking forward to that. And who knows, with a couple of wins, we don't know where we're going to be. So, it's up in the air, to be honest with you. And it's down to the squad, to be honest with you. Sometimes, I freaking love them. I could literally give them a kiss across the cheek. <coughs> so, other times, that'll be like Homer Simpson on Bart. Just give both my hands around your neck and strangle you bastards that's just how much i feel right now yeah i've been seeing a therapist for a good reason we do have 50 million in the bank and it is january so we can spend some moolah so let's see what players pique my interest so first of all i've decided to go for a pre-contract this player is quite famous in norwich because he helped them win the derby so I went for Marcelo Nunez from Norwich City who will be joining me next season. Now let me talk to you about my next transfer. Since Mr. Hawk joined Torquay, there's only been one transfer target that he's been desperate to bring to Torquay. He was born eight minutes away from playing more. Climbing his way up the football pyramid, leaving a raft of goals got his big money move to Villa Park and on the 25th of March 2021 he made his England debut and also scoring in that game as well. Now the man, the myth, the legend returns to Torquay United. Welcome home Ollie Watkins. Yeah, that's the squad. Ollie Watkins has been a key player for me since season number one. I thought I've got to get him, especially being bored in Torquay. Such a privilege bringing him back. Now, the problem is, though, he wants crucial first team football. And I got Hornby up top. So, there's going to be a, quite a competition to get that number nine role up towards. But, let's see how it goes with the match highlights. For the Our first game was away to St. James's Park, Newcastle United, folks. And one of our players was working overtime. Yes, the Aussie Joe was putting a heck of performance. But guess what? The Geordies weren't ready for a counter-attack. As we're able to catch him with that pants down. Tony, the captain, leading from the forward, gets the goal. The celebration, though, a bit controversial. Since, you know, we're facing a Saudi-owned clubs. And those Saudis... Sure, love to strike us back, just like striking from oil. But Joe, bloody hell, even though he saved that, a poor clearance, and yet Joe was still saving our bacon. You hear that, Alan Shearer? He's taking a whiz all over St. James's Park. But I really need to wrap this game up quickly. Hornby got to be one on one, but how on earth did he save that? Oh, uh, even though he did fail to score, he did find a pass to the glorious one. Glorious! Bobby Clark for the safety cushion. Newcastle, though, were fuming. It was only a matter of time before they pulled one back thanks to Anthony Gordon. But guess who was at it? To save the day for Talk E United. Yes, the local hero, Ollie Watkins, to wrap up the three points away. What a great debut and a return home to Talk E. And on to one of the biggest games of the season, the Carabao Cup semi-finals against Manchester City. Tough game on paper, but guess what? We broke free yet again. Tony, just all in racing strike. He's just running for that goal. And I can't believe it. Even though it's 2-2, two -two, we're just going to scratch that and make it 3-2 to the goals. We're flying here. Then it's taking Manchester City to the wood chipper. And that method like how Tony scored his first goal, we played it again. But this time, Hornby was straight at Henderson. And this time, he seals it. Two goals ahead. I couldn't believe it. City were getting absolutely rattled like a snake. And yes, they did were able to pull one back. But guess what? A corner. It came absolutely crashing down for Pep Guardiola's side as the Etihad went silent. 
well, basically went silent again. Hornby was literally on a hat trick, went for it, Anderson able to save. But I even know Anderson did a great save. Joe did an absolute awful one. Only one goal away. And yet pressure was building up. And yet we cracked. Just like someone forcing us to a karaoke night. It's the bald Hudson over here. I don't know who you are, Jabroni. Who in the blue hell are you? Yeah, it's all bloody square. And it's gone down to the penalty spot. And I'll tell you what, it was tense. Even though the Aussie was performing rubbish trying to attempt to save these penalties. It went straight down to the defenders. And Hutton hit the crossbar. We got knocked out of the Carabao Cup semi-finals. So moving on to the red side of Manchester. Old Trafford against Man United. So we just got to focus on the league. Man United did lose the ball poorly. And it only took a couple of more passes for Tony to slot in the goal. Good, looking like it could be a historical win for the goals right here. Man United did respond quite well. But a shame they needed a taxi on that effort right here. But that historical win, you could just scrunch that at the ball and lob it in the bin. Have all bloody players to score. Literally, you're all getting A deductions. Especially letting that, um, what's the word that's coming to my head? Pathetic cunt. And it got a lot worse. Well, not as bad as that rapist scoring. But, well, Man United did get the winner as we lost at Old Trafford. Now, with momentum at an all-time low, Wolverhampton Wanderers were next. And, well, those Wolves, they were hungry for some AFG. Kentucky Try Girls. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. <laughs> but let's say that Aussie, he felt like a vegan protester, denying those Wolves a hungry snack. And once Wolves felt like they were going to be going to get the first goal, we managed to get it, counter-attack it, into the one, the only, the Norwegian Ferrari, Oscar Bob, and the rest is history. And it's funny how history happens to repeat itself time and time again, because pretty much, deja vu, Oscar Bob gets himself a brace. Speaking of the past, Ivan, our former striker, pulled one back, and a mixture of poor defending and near post, Wolves grabbed an equaliser. Downward trail for the goals right here. Was I annoyed? Yes. Did I feel defeated? No. Timo, though, played a great ball into the glorious one. Glorious! Bobby Clark securing the win. And, well, I decided to face Hull City because every time we faced Hull, it was a blockbuster. But, well, Hull turned out to be blockbusters as Tony managed to maul the Tigers as we managed to run them down. And make it double, Lewis Morgan says. Just like Team Rocket, Hull City, they were nothing more but blast away. And literally, that was all done in the first half. They're going to be having some half-time talks on the pitch. And that brings us to our final opponent, Arsenal, which I decided to give Ollie Watkins a start and lineup. And to be fair, he was aiming to please. Even though his shots weren't being converted, he was really in dangerous positions. So he pleased Mr. Hawk in another way. Paid a good pass to Gustavo Saar, a big money change to get a 1-0 at the Emirates. Arsenal, though, they were hitting bloody rockets, but the Aussie was making a great deal over it. You hear that, Terry Henry? He's taking a whiz at the Emirates as well. He gets one for you. Speaking of taking a whiz, well, we caught Arsenal with their pants down. And guess who was the man to deliver the blow? Ollie Watkins made him pay. And they didn't really learn from their mistakes, the Gunners, as Oscar Bob, one-on-one, -on -one, sees Ollie Watkins, grabs himself a brace as the local hero rewards us. We're getting a historical win at the Emirates. That's ending the match highlights with a man the match foreman from Ollie Watkins. So, this is the table, and you're thinking it right here. Holy crap, you jumped the gun, all right? Yeah, forget about being a Fulham. We're up there. Literally, European spots are on the line for our first season in the Prem. But we've got two games remaining, and they're very big. They're both away. Uh, well, first one is against Tottenham. That's going to be our hardest team. Next one, though, is against Bournemouth. So we're going to be playing both these live games. And with the result, we're going to hopefully be in European spots. That's if we deal with Tottenham first. They're a tough opponent. We're away from home. And, well, a lot is on the line here. Come on, Torquay. Joe Latimer into Gustavo Saar. Good run from him. Come on, we've got to give good effort right here. Good start. Hornby plays across the Bobby Clark, the glorious one. 
into Lewis Morgan. Great crossing. Got a header, but Oscar Bob's header. It was perfectly timed, but their goalkeeper produced a great save. All right, Tottenham. They got some really good plays still, even though it's six years in the future. I still think Big Ange's side is really threatening. There's James Wilson. One, two, pass from right here. Can't do nothing around it. Now the Italian into Barker. Oh, bloody hell. Tottenham strike first. A hot dagger in goal hearts as that goal could mean bye-bye to European football. Barker again. Plays across to the Israeli wing. He's passed my defence so easily. Gets a shot on. Bloody hell, Joe. I don't know how you do it sometimes. Straight at him. They're going to take the corner short. I've got CJ right on the backside. Come on. Make a move. All right, you want me to make a move first? Fine, there. Take that for you. Oh, God, he tackled me back. <laughs> I'm laughing, but technically I'm in pain right now as Hutton plays it across. To Tony, Tony into Gustavo Saar. Trying to find the runner. Through balls it. Oscar Bob. Best person on the wing. Best person gunning down goal. Get the shot off. Get in there, an equaliser. You know what? A draw wouldn't be a bad result, but we've got some fight left here. And Tottenham Hotspur Stadium are not going to see nothing like this before. Uh, Tottenham, their response. It might be hard, though, because literally, oh, uh, no. Lovely work. Good tackle from Hutton. He read the mind of Millet. Now, come on, Tony. Plays across. That's not the person I want to. That's the person I want it to be. Good work. Come on, Oscar Bob. Dances round the fullback. Got to go for another herb. A goal saved at the goalkeeper. Oh, Gil, sorry. We're the goals for crying out loud. Oh, got to be so good if we get that second goal corner. You know who I'm going to find. Crying cross and into Hornby. No, goalkeeper gets it away. Bobby Clark plays across. Tony, good run from him. Sees open space. Plays it in the box. And Captain Tony assisted the Scottish striker. It's 2-1 just before the half. Talk E lead. We're like jailbirds. It's not because of the kit, because we're running for freedom. And that freedom is European football. Tony through balls it into Clark. Uh, come on. Here we go. Here we go. It's into Hornby. Hornby's got support for Tony, but I've got to go for it. Romero set blocked it off. Tottenham are playing it from the back now. Lewis through balls it into Cook. Cook into, oh god, the Italian is through again. Oh, mamma mia, this is no time for jokes. Cook plays it across. Millet threatening on goal. Twist round. Joe saved it. I thought I had that under control. Turns out I definitely didn't. Balligan, former gunner. Oh, bloody hell, into the Israeli again. Oh, well, I don't I want to say something bad, but I don't want it. Uh, CJ, oh, flipping hell, mate. Former Arsenal player himself, but there's no time about talking about the past. We've got to talk about now. European football on the line. Tackle, they collided with each other. Four falling apart. I don't know what the fuck that happened. Seriously, sorry for the language here, but bloody hell, my defence just calling the freaking Chuckle Brothers. Falling apart, and that goal could pretty much cost us bye bye our European trip. Free kick in my area. 2 2. I just got to go for it, you know. Hutton plays it across to Gustavo. Gustavo back to Joe Latmadeur. Clark uh, through balls it. Good work. Tony, better ball. Ollie Watkins got to be. Toe pokes it past the Tottenham goalkeeper. It's absolutely silent in London. Talk Eok Oz in the riot. It's all because of the local hero. Welcome back, Ollie Watkins. And he's made a name for himself back at his home club. And the clock still keeps on ticking. As, oh, bloody hell, Tottenham are going to go for it. They're literally throwing everything now. As, well, to be fair, draw wouldn't be a bad result. It'd be better for a win. Barker already on. Berligan, oh, bloody hell. The new, oh, freaking hell. The Aussie has done it again for us so many times. There's only one more minute left. They're bringing the goalkeeper. Of course they're bringing the goalkeeper up. It's headed up in the air. Can we get rid of it? Yeah, oh, no, it's still playing volleyball. Blot headed away. Ollie Watkins. Do me a favour, boot that ball in the atmosphere. Full time goes. A brilliant win for yours truly. Absolute great win. Thanks for the help of January hero, our local hero, Ollie Watkins. Gets the win against Tottenham Hotspur. Now we just go into Bournemouth with a lot of pressure off my shoulders. Lewis Morgan holds off the ball well, plays it cross back to the fullback. Now into Bobby Clark. 
glorious he may be. This may be a glorious time for us. Gustavo Saar, good run. Through on goal, gets the first goal. 1-0, we open things up thanks to our big money signing. May, many people may spend 90, 100 million. 24 million is a lot for talk, you know. But you know what? He's worth every single damn penny. Bournemouth right here. Three balls at Enderson. Remember that game? Oh, bloody hell, Hutton. Shoots. Great save from Joe. Spoiler alert. In season number seven, they're getting a new centre-back. Hutton has lost the ball so many times in these type of games. Like I said, that's how Tottenham got their bloody equaliser back. Oh, for frick's sake. All right, just focus on the corner. Going to play it short right here. Uh, nope, couldn't win it. Heads it down. Controlled. Shoot. Oh, bloody hell. It's the Aussie, a double rescue for us. And you can see from the defence, uh, come on, laid it across. Max Aaron's heavy touch. And even though we're goal ahead, it's still an early game. Uh, come on, good slight tackle from Bobby Clark. Gustavo Saar threw balls it into Hornby. All he's got to do is bury the chance. And it's not so sunny down here in Bournemouth. As yes, the goals are raining in over Bournemouth Parade. Garcia gets tackled and see Henderson now. Oh, bloody hell. Hutton now position. Got to be. Round Gorillet Mater. But Joe, fucking hell, that's a great set. I need to apologise for my language. Oh, I'm on edge. I'm on absolute edge. And if my defenders keep doing that. But bloody hell, Joe has been a real lifeline for us. I don't care about the penalty shootout in the Carabao Cup. I want to forget about that. Oh, good. Here comes the corner. Heads it down. CJ plays it across to Tony. Trying to find the runner. Yeah. Oscar Bog eps himself onside. He's only got one target in sight like a homing missile. Bingo! That's free. 3-0 for Talk E United. I never know the Vitality Stadium has gone to a library because it's absolutely silent here. Starting off the second half now, Bournemouth on the attack, heavy touch, a lot of empty red chairs in the audience, I've got a little smile here but we've still got another 45 minutes, more goals will be absolutely brilliant, Ferguson turns around, Gomez pulls one back for Bournemouth, the Cherries managed to get one back, it's now 3-1 on the score, Gomez plays across to Max Aaron, uh, no. oh come on let's just get a tackle here oh failed to tackle that Enderson through balls at Ferguson brilliant turn round Joe Latmeter and it's only 3-2 Bournemouth have pulled two back in a matter of minutes yeah there's certainly a game on here as there's life at the Fatality Stadium back to the goalkeeper now and to be fair I just gotta get something out of this get another goal just to make it a little bit safe as heavy touch, Hornby steals it. Heavy touch of himself. Oh, we could have stole it right there. GTA 5 style. Tony on the ball. Got to get another one. We're definitely desperately got to pull something. Lovely pass. Gustavo saw it off. <laughs> Only denied thanks to the crossbar. Bournemouth are pulling everything now. We're barely 10 minutes left on the clock. And yet, only one goal away. It'd been a disaster. Good tackle from the glorious one. Bobby Clark, counter-attack, trying to get a runner, trying to see a runner, and I see one person specifically over the top, Oli Watkins controls it well, finishes it better, to secure the win for Torquay United, we've bloody done it, get in there, full time goes, same story as Tottenham, Oli Watkins, the real saviour for the goals, have got us two wins out of two, and let's just see where that puts us table at the end of the season. Here it is, final table at the end of the season. And Torquay United have gone up to fifth place, knocking out Saudi-run Newcastle United in the fight for European football. We've got the freaking job done. I'm so ecstatic. Two great wins out of two. Let's quickly go to the top goal scorers. As course, it's Hornby up first with 21 goals. Oscar Bob was 16, Tony with 13, and 10 for Ollie Watkins. With the most assist, it's actually Tony with 14, and 10 for Oscar Bob. Wow, what an achievement for this squad. We managed to get it through. The defence caused me a few headaches, but you know what? It's all about the goals, and we produced plenty of them. So, play of the season, good out shout out goes to the glorious one, Bobby Clark. We have got Gustavo Saar, who's been my best signing of this window. Joe, of course, deserves a massive shout out. And as well as that, I'm actually going to give it to Ollie Watkins as well. But player of the season, 
leading from the front. The captain Tony, I think, deserves it. With the most assists, with the freaking great goals, he just absolutely delivered. He takes the team by the scruff of the neck and gets over our first season with the Premier League side, Torquay United. Thank you ever so much for watching today's episode. I'm absolutely exhausted. I'm going to have a couple of brewskis and have a little bit of a rest. But make sure you stay tuned for next time as Europa League for Talk United. If you enjoyed today, give it a thumbs up, subscribe for more. And as always, I'll see you lot later.